In just a moment, I'll ask you to stand with us, and we'll lead you in a word of prayer and ask you to remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear God, we humbly come before your throne tonight to ask for your blessings, uh, giving us uh, sound minds and helpful hearts, that you'll be with us in our community during this period of thanksgiving, and may we not only look for ourselves and for our families, but also Help us to see those that otherwise might not help if we don't see them. Pray, Lord, that uh, you'll bless us in the things that uh, that have to come before us and that uh, the decisions that will be made will be your will. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Our future meetings uh, include the following. The Planning Commission has a special call meeting Monday, November the 29th at 7 p.m. Board of Mayor and Aldermen have a, a special call meeting on November the 30th. The Mayor and Alderman meeting will be simply to set a public hearing date. Uh, City Beautiful Commission, December 2nd at 6.30. And Family Assistance Commission, December 6th at 6 p.m. And uh, Beer Board on December 7th at 6 p.m. We'll uh, move to the official business of the day. Uh, first item uh, is the approval of the minutes from November the 9th. Moved approved. Uh, motion and second. Uh, any discussion on that item? If not, you go to your vice and cast your vote. This item passes 5-0. Uh, there is no consent agenda tonight, and so the only business before us is uh, this new business item. Madam Clerk, will you read it into the record, please? Item 1, Resolution 34-21, a resolution to approve the Industrial Development Board of the City of Bartlett, Tennessee's Economic Impact Development Plan for the Union Depot Mixed-Use Development Tax Increment Financing Application. Thank you. Uh, Kim Taylor, directing, Director of Planning and Economic Development. The proposal before you tonight is for the approval of Resolution 34-21 for the Economic Plan for Tax Increment Financing, better known as a TIF, for the Union Depot Mixed-Use Development. Again, this is just for the Economic Impact Plan in support of the TIF. On November 18, 2021, the Bartlett Industrial Board held a public hearing to review the economic impact plan and voted in favor of the plan in support of the distribution of incremental ad valorem property taxes to the Industrial Development Board to pay for eligible costs of planned improvements or to pay the debt service on any TIF obligations issued by the Industrial Development Board. The terms of this agreement are defined in the proposed economic impact plan. For our checks and balances, both the developer generated the economic impact plan and a third party representative on behalf of the city of Bartlett, known as Younger and Associates, generated a financial analysis. The two plans or the analysis and the plan were in concert with each other. The proposed project will be on a 73.9 acre parcel of property located at 6896 Highway 70. The future development will be a mixed use development. However, the actual development plans will be submitted at a later date and will go before the Planning Commission and the Design Review Commission and any other boards that uh, have purview to review and approve the plans. 
We have tonight with us Dexter Muller, who is the consultant for the project in the industrial impact report. He is here tonight and he can answer any specific detail questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for Dexter? You need any further uh, information? I'd move we approve. Have a motion and a second. It's been properly motioned and second. I do want to share with you uh, one of the members of IDB, Melissa Goodall, uh, Woodall, I changed part of her name. She she was kind enough. She she does uh, planning work uh, for a living, and uh, so she's familiar with TIS. While this is our first one in Bartlett, uh, she's been a part of this uh, around other places, so she's it's not new to her at all. But she was kind enough to send me a definition out of the comptroller's website. And I'd just like to read that in terms of what we're doing tonight. Tax incremental financing, or TIF, projects give cities and counties tools to ret retain, recruit, and grow business and industry. Tax incremental financing is a method utilized by local governments to pay for community improvements with future tax revenue. For example, a blighted neighborhood might be dilapidated buildings worth only 50000 in property. Using a TIF, the local government could build new infrastructure or even replace the rundown buildings with new ones, as well as other improvements to increase total property values in the area to 750000 The $700,000 difference in property value increases property tax collection, the increased property tax revenue is used to recover the cost of the TIF improvements. In short, it's a way to allow new development to pay for itself, and it does not become a burden on our existing taxpayers to make that happen. So with that, we have a proper motion and second. Is there any discussion anyone has? If not, if you go... I'm sorry? Yes. Okay, if not... Uh, if you go to your device and uh, cast your vote, please. Um, resolution 3421, a resolution approving the IDB's uh, impact financial uh, economic impact development plan for Union Depot passes 5-0. That's the end of our regular business. It's our tradition to allow anyone to speak to this board for up to three minutes on any topic they would like to. Before we go to the public, any of the aldermen have anything? Alderman Parsons. I'd first like to say happy holidays to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. And I just want to make one point. I got several phone calls about the impact that this TIF would be on existing property owners. And I hope those people are watched tonight to hear the last part of what you just defined as a definition that uh, only that development be the only one impacted by that. And that's where the revenue for that TIF would come from out of that single, single project there. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, Alderman Young? I'd just like to also wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody has an opportunity to spend time with family and enjoy themselves. Anybody else? I do the same as Jack. All right. Kevin, you might as well jump in, man. Well, I don't want to appear like anti-happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> and be, be safe out there. Yeah. So, uh, I would join in... Uh, with what's being said here, it's a, 
especially uh, coming out of the pandemic. Uh, for many people, it'll be the first time they've really gotten to spend any time with some of their family uh, in maybe two years. So uh, I hope you'll take advantage of uh, the opportunity to be with your family and hug on them. Uh, you know, just like up here, we don't always agree on everything. I've been married to my wife 50 years, and we don't agree on everything. But that doesn't mean we don't love each other. We don't care about each other. So we can have our differences and still care about each other, and that's what a good community is, how it's meant to work. So happy Thanksgiving to you all. With that being said, uh, any of the directors have anything they need to tell us? If not, we'll go to the general public. Anyone in the audience should like to speak should come forward at this time. Seeing no one coming forward, this uh, being the end of our agenda, this meeting stands adjourned.